Hello guys, welcome back to your favourite foodie podcast, Savage Appetites with me, Tarrant, and my wonderful co-host, Alex Augusti. Yep, just parked. <laughs> I'm currently on a no-carb diet. The summer shred for the Ibiza and the wedding is happening. I hate it. He's coming in with some mad energy today. We were waiting for him because he was trying to get a punks by dance Yeah, anxious energy, but I like it. And Keep now he's going to charge in. He's like, let's roll, let's go. I'm like, bro, take a breath, take a breath. <laughs> We've got a nice little 45 minutes now, 30 minutes. Well, 30 minutes, 20 minutes now. Well, you know like, what it is? I've got an opportunity to go to Kishmish, the Afghani restaurant for love, for lunch. So I'm like, let's do this. What's Kishmish? Afghani restaurant. Where is it? It's supposed to be good. It's like a white boy Afghani. Okay. Yeah. So what's, like, what's white boy? Afghani? White boy. White boy is a term that applies to any cuisine. So, for example, oh, okay, like a, a toned down exactly, white boy version. White boy it. version. So, yeah, like, yeah, you know, boy. international city Chinese food, hawker boy, salmon noodles, white boy Chinese. Okay. 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 okay you're coming in with some mad energy. <laughs> what have you been up to? I'm, I'm going to load. The I'm going to start it. this by saying, yeah, Eat a piece four of years, four years of food blogging, and every single person asked me. What is my favorite restaurant after all this time? You know what it is. We went there together, La Nina. Oh, shit. La Nina, if you listen to this, keep doing, doing what, what you're, you're doing, doing, boys. La Nina is fantastic. La Nina, if you don't know, is owned by Chef Tim, who we had, Chef Tim oh. Newton, who we He's had. executive chef. You don't know exactly. it. Oh, okay. Executive chef. I think he should own it. He should own it. He is the guy. I thought, I don't We know. interviewed him back at Beach Canteen. We did. He Lovely suggested guy. we go down there. Taryn took up his invitation. I said hello because it was on a Friday night and I couldn't be asked with the traffic. And I was like, absolutely not. Oh, how wrong I was. It was a magical culinary food journey of Latino essence of, I don't know how to describe it, but it's in that kind of Spanish Latino cuisine. And it was fantastic. Look, in layman's terms, I'm not a DIFC guy, all right? If I have to wear a shirt, yeah. I'm out. I'm not coming to your he, restaurant. Can I just say? I threw the biggest was, wobbly. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Because he was like, what are we wearing? I was like, well, you know, smart casual because we're in uh, ICD Brookfields. That's where the restaurant is, by the way. And he's like, oh, I'd have to wear a shirt. And I was like, well, you don't have to wear a shirt, but you've got to look somewhat presentable. You can't wear your hat and you can't wear your boots. I was right? like, I'm out. Me, me and you <laughs> both, we both like wearing that stuff. But I do like to dress up sometimes because I do like to wear a bit of a, a smart, nice, casual outfit. Yeah. Okay. So... I was like, you have to wear that. He's like, oh, and I can just feel it. I can feel the tension all day about him, like feeling like, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. But I'm like, you have to go. Yeah. And then I literally left the Springs to go downtown. I thought I'd get ahead of the traffic. I'm sat in traffic. I barely even left the Springs. I've been in the car for half an hour. And I was literally like, I called my missus. I was like, I'm cancelling. I'm not going down. <laughs> I'm going to do a U turn. I'm going to get out of the taxi and I'm just walking home. I'm sick of this. <laughs> She's like, you can't. Everyone's planning. Anyway, I get down there. Yes. It's. Okay, there's a few restaurants that I've been to that tick every single box. Mm. Like the ones I'm thinking, like you can send anyone to Zuma, you know they're going to have an amazing meal. You can send anyone to LPM, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know they're going to yeah, have an LPM amazing meal. Sure. Um, LPM in particular, I'd say over Zuma. Yeah. La Nina, I can send anyone down there. I know they're going to have a sick time. The food's incredible. The vibe's great. The people are stunning. The whole atmosphere is just a vibe. And I had the sickest time. And it was a sick time. So, I mean, we, we got... So many dishes, yeah. to be fair. Uh, what really stood out to me, beyond the kind of one bite of dishes, and I, I, it's hard for I me to... You got the tonight. list? I got the notes, so I had to write, write they're them all, down. They're obviously so the dishes all in uh, Spanish, so it's I can't really remember the names of the dishes, but in terms of the, the flavour profiles, the matching of wines and cocktails, so the guy came over and um, he was like, oh, we're trying some new cocktails, would you like to try? There was one amazing cocktail which i have no idea what's in it it yeah. had a little stamp sticker on it I, oh yeah i don't it know what it on is the, on the foam on the top tim chef tim if you listen can you just message me and let me know what it is and then i'm going to post a picture and i'll tell you what describe yeah. it is. i have no idea what it is it is one of the best cocktails i've ever yeah honestly i'm not taking the piss here now when i say that it is one of the best cocktails i've ever had in my I'll life i'll agree i'll agree i tried yours and i was like this is this is perfect. i have no idea what's but, in the, it, but that mixologist coming over and he was like he was like what type of things do you guys yeah, like yeah, and yeah, you yeah. know some, i've been asked that before and sometimes they just don't <laughs> get, get it right. yeah it's get gin tonic <laughs> but this guy like literally took in 
like exactly what we said mm. and created these cocktails. And yeah. even the, the the girls absolutely loved it. Their the girls were there. We would try the ladies out for dinner. We tried it was it expensive? I've got some it notes. So the ceviche platter was... Oh, yeah. That was ceviche. incredible. What, um, do you remember what you talking Yeah, about? so I've got the spicy tuna ceviche yes. was the best. It yeah. was perfect. They yeah. had a salmon ceviche and then they had a crab, which was more creamy. Yeah, yeah. I didn't like that, but I think you guys like that. I it was a bit more sweet. Yeah, the spicy tuna ceviche was incredible. The The dish that left the table speech, speechless was the braised short rib corn tortilla. Oh, my God. Oh, so good. So basically, it's like a one-biter, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. two-bite if you're... you got a Lady. small mouth. If you're a lady, um, that was one of my highlights as well. Yeah. That was just a mouthful of just sheer passion. It was just umami, wasn't it? Espanol yeah. meat and, oh, I want to be there right now. Man, it was I'm so salivated. good. And then uh, after that, I've got to know the uh, steak tartare. Steak tartare, tartare. Yeah. but it was served on a potato hash roasting. Oh, it was. Do you remember that? Yes. I mean, by the time the, the, the meal got on, my my memory starts to fade. Yeah, I, a bit. I stopped making notes after that. <laughs> <laughs> it's we just gibberish. Had, we had well, you have steak, we had seafood, we had, we steak, had seafood. We had we had a range of the menu. We had caviar ice cream in the end. We had a caviar ice cream with a bit of olive oil. I like the caviar on its own. To be fair, than than yeah. with it on the ice cream. I wasn't a massive fan of that. To be fair, I actually just like the caviar. So I just ate the caviar and yeah. the ice cream separately. So that was nice. To give give the people as well, because they'd be like, oh, I sponsored. You got invited. No. We got suggested that we would go. We went down there. Yeah. And they were like, oh, we'll take care of you. So obviously they gave us a few additional dishes to be to be clear. Yeah, but yeah. Taz and I, we didn't know if it was going to be comped or not. So we just <laughs> yeah. like, we, you know, we prepared ourselves. Yeah, but yeah. we kind of hoping that maybe it was going to be caught. And yeah. then we literally got to the end. We're like, can we get the bill? And they're going, yeah, sure. And just walked off. <laughs> I <laughs> mean, you looked at each other and were like, oh my God, we fucked it, we fucked it. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That whole meal. Because they, they, they were so lovely. They came over and they were like, uh, we were looking at the menu. We were about to choose what we wanted. And obviously... Oh, there's so much we, we want got to try. Carried away, yeah. And he was like, he goes, Oh, look, if you don't mind, I'll we'll just bring some dish over. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I, I'm not in this, uh, this is, I'm new to the food game, right? <laughs> so I'm thinking I have to pay for it anyway. And I, I expect to pay for it anyway. I'm, I don't go in thinking it's free. Yeah. So they're coming over, they're bringing cocktails, they're bringing dishes, loads of different places. Try this, try this. Wonderful, wonderful. And I'm thinking, Well, <laughs> it's going to be a bit weird if they go, pays the bill I'll be like because I didn't really order this yeah, but you're just yeah. trying new things anyway that's what I, I think was... they were like anything that they suggested they didn't include on the bill yeah, yeah. and then like the bottles of wine and everything else that we had that we covered but like yeah, yeah, but yeah. honestly La Nina it was well worth the money and then when we paid the bill and I was and it, okay you, you can be as pricey as you want it because yeah, it's yeah, in yeah. that in, it's in that world like don't expect that you're going to spend 100 dirhams it's just not that kind no, of restaurant it's a premium restaurant it's, it's a like, premium it, high it should quality. have a Michelin star 100% it's I, don't, so I can't good. believe it doesn't yeah I know I mean well maybe I was literally in shock I was like how do you guys not have a Michelin star uh, yeah I would just the way the, the and the chef came over the way he curated the menu yeah. and the way the dishes look and the way they're presented I think all in all fantastic oh, yeah day and night day night Take your Date night, or if it's like, like a, you're having like a birthday and you want a really nice place because yeah. they had like music blaring, the music later was on. class, and like yeah. it started off in like more of a chill vibe, and then it got like progressively like the music got a bit louder, it got a yeah. bit more vibey, and then eventually, literally, everyone was just like stood up, yeah, or yeah. even the waitresses are getting involved. It was it. We the had service, a, the service, was service was incredible. Insane. Do you what's her name? Nina. Nina. Oh, yeah. her name yeah, was Nina. Yeah. I think mean, she was Colombian. Yeah, she was. She was Colombian. Lovely. She lovely. was fantastic. Lovely lady. Fantastic. Um, anyway, moving on from La Nina. Okay, um, where else have we been that we need to let our well, lovely listeners know I went about? to, and you probably went, you went to as well. I went to uh, Lila Molino. Oh, yeah, you did. In didn't you? Cal. What did you think? I thought, I thought the, the dish I had, I mean, I didn't. What did you have? I had the uh, chilaquiles. Oh, yeah, yeah. Chilaquiles. Yeah. You know, is that how you pronounce it? Chilaquiles. Yeah. Which is basically egg on top of tortilla. Uh, and then you get a choice out of green or red sauce. I went for the green sauce. That's kind of my vibe. It's not that It's not that spicy at all, really. Um, but that 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 kind of... Um, I'm really into like crunchy food. I don't yeah. know if that's weird or not. I yeah. just like to have crunch in my food. Yeah, so yeah. like for me, it's just like good quality eggs on tortilla with a nice green sauce. It's, I don't think it's a salsa verde, but it's a nice green sauce. There's a little hint of spice in it. Lots of lime. It's a bit sour. For me, perfect. That's yeah, what I needed. Yeah. Like that's all, I, that's all I had to be fair. And I had a coffee. And I had like an Americano. It's, it's a cool vibe, isn't it? It's, it's like, cool. Um, we we went there really. We, me and my mate Dom, we went there. We, we did crank in the morning. Yeah, that spin thing at, at eight. So by the time we got there, it was like nine, half nine. Is it? So we were like, no. Oh I mean, no, it's already quite okay. Good, 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 good. Actually, maybe a bit earlier. Um, so it was like we were there. was like two people there. Yeah, and it's yeah. fine. It's like it's on a Saturday. It's on the weekend. So yeah. you know, by the time we left, 
more people were coming in around about 10, 11 o'clock. So, yeah, but I, I, I actually really enjoyed I, it. I, I enjoyed oh, it. Oh, and I added steak oh. to it, sorry. I added steak to yeah, that I dish. Yeah, I saw you had the steak. I added steak, steak yeah, that to that dish, which made it, I think, if you're going to do How it, much was it with the steak? Uh, extra 20 dirhams, I think. The, the steak? Yeah, for the, the steak. Extra 20 dirhams, perfect. Or oh, chicken. Bark it, eh? Yeah. Perfect. I am um, good source protein. I went there and I like it. Like when you walk in, you've got like a retail site. Yeah, you got the Lanto store. And you can get the ingredients. Fabrics. Yeah, and then you go, you've got like jalapeno, you can buy your jalapenos yeah. and tomatoes Mexican and all cheese. Your Mexican cheese, Mexican yeah, yogurt, raw so, yogurts and stuff yeah. like that. She was at Lila's as well. Sure, sure. Yeah, she's yeah. like, she's lovely. And then uh, when I had it, I think we went for like the sampling soft launch menu. Yeah. I just wanted a bit more like kicker heat, to be honest. Yeah. And I think because I've been to Lila's Taqueria a couple of days before and I got that like spiciest salsa. Yeah. I was craving that spice, but I think I need to go back <clears throat> and do it properly. I wonder if they've curated it to be less spicy because the it's like an all day dining. Yeah. I think it's, and you got to look at Al Sakal, the demographic. Yeah, a lot yeah. of like locals don't like food particularly spicy, generalizing. Yeah. I'm sorry there. Yeah. No, yeah. um, well, that's true to be fair. Yeah. But one thing I would say, for any restaurants that are listening, particularly if you have any tortillas on your menu, you do tacos or anything like that. Yeah. Put them straight in the bin. Yeah. And go and speak with Shaw from Lila Sakaria because she's yeah. actually making all of the corn tortillas at that location. Yeah. And she's going to ship them out into Dubai. And like yeah. her corn tortillas, unmatched. You can taste the, the difference. It's, they, they're like authentic. They're perfect. Yeah. Like the texture, the soft, the fresh. Like, so yeah, if you run a business, message her. Go. Where are um, you going to? I'm going to keep the... I've got, I've got three. I'm going to rattle through a couple. I've got one, quick, one more. Um, Sagra, the new pastaficio. You know, the pasta place down on Jumeirah. Mm, okay. Talk little to me. tiny... Little tiny being the de the definite the right definition okay three tables maybe like what we try to get in on a sunday no chance like he's <laughs> got three tables yeah honestly if you if you haven't booked in online just don't even bother trying to walk in it's that small i went back on the monday afternoon managed to get a table they've got like half of the restaurant is a workshop where they you can watch the guy actually making the pasta in front oh of yes you. okay okay yeah, 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 yeah so yeah. they hand make all the pasta in front of you and then you can either buy stuff off the menu or you can choose your pasta and choose your sauce and combine oh them so it's a bit like a pick and mix yeah yeah so it's it, like the pasta is the start the pasta is superb you yeah, cannot yeah. fault it it's beautiful beautiful pasta and the sauces are really good as well the only thing i would say is the portions are quite Small, mm, okay, and you're paying around seventy five dirham. Seventy five dirhams. Yeah, yeah, for for a portion. But like, it's one of those places. It's quality over quantity. Yeah. Um, What's the idea? Is the idea to order multiple dishes? No, no, or is you, just, you yeah, just you just get your pasta. You can either mix and match, like you want this pasta with this sauce, or you just get some of their dishes. What did you have there? I had the gnocchi alla Sorrentina. Ooh. So that was beautiful. Really yeah. like rich tomato. That's like, not bad. Having a small dish of gnocchi is popular. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then uh, I also had the tagliatelle bolognese. Yeah. So um, classic. Like, it was like, I don't normally order a bolognese. This was really, really yeah, good. Yeah. Like, I've never ordered a bolognese out. No, because I, I make a pretty good one. Yeah, point yeah. mix. That's fair. It's a core Italian. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, quick mentioned before I leave, I'm going to leave one to the last so then you go in the night okay yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Irenesian meeting room done a collab this looks sick say. by the way like that I banged, marrow I've thing. banged Ooh. on I've banged on about Irenesh like a million times yeah. um, and I love Abdul from the meeting room like yeah. his Indian barbecue is like unmatched like yeah. when I've been to, to they a, always message us by the way yeah I've been to a few collabs and the cuisines don't really match on yeah. the plate right yeah and when I originally thought, I was like, Iranian and Indian. And I was like... Mm, I can kind of see it, but not. I know there's a history, and, but yeah. I was like, I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah. So it's a start out, I'm going to just say the top dishes. Um, Abdul's uh, lamb, lamb chops. chops. Best yeah. lamb chops in Dubai. Lamb chops are sick. With there. the caramelized onion and garlic topping from the gardan oh. on top. <laughs> so it's now like got the sweetness Jeez. with the spice and the, like, the smokiness. Mm. And literally, I think everyone had like three or four lamb chops. They were like, they're, they're that they're good. They're so good. They're so um, good. The bone marrow was good, but they had this Iranian uh, like berry on there for a bit of sourness, which was yeah. nice, but it was also a bit sweet. And, and I don't like that sweet and savory. Yeah. Um, but then they done this, oh, kebab roll. You know, like a kebab roll. Yeah, yeah. But with khubide inside. Oh, yeah. Um, Tell the guys what khubide is. Khubide, like the Persian kebab. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Chopped up. Oh. In yogurt with Indian spices and then clarified butter comes sizzling on the top. Oh. Mate, this dish, just everyone just stopped talking. The whole table was just like, everyone just went quiet. Ooh. It was fire. Like those guys, like two of them working together. They they So but the, only, the only problem is you can't be a, you Oh, know and they also had a gelia mahi, which is normally a fish stew, but they've done it with prawns. And that was like, I think Hani, you know, Bedouin foodie yeah, like yeah. and Yusuf, uh, like these guys are legit food critics. Yeah, they are. They were like these, one of the top dishes that we've had. Will, okay, so it's gone now. 
Yes, collab. It, it might be on the menu sometimes. I want that on the menu because I didn't get to go to this. And I really, I saw the I saw the footage. I yeah. saw the dishes. And I'm like, I want to go. Just, it, like, it was the only collab I've been to where it, it, the other person had amplified the other person's dishes. Like, yeah, yeah. Iranish made meat and room's food better. And meat and room made Iranish's yeah. food better to collectively just make it. Tell, so tell the tell the listeners, meeting room then. Obviously, we've spoke about Iranish on the yeah, podcast. Yeah, meeting room. Now, no, Wassel 51. Yeah, Wassel 51. Amazing uh, uh, rest, uh, restaurant. Yeah. Now, meeting room is in um, neighborhood. NFH, neighborhood food halls in yeah. Motor City. In just Motor go in, have the lamb chops. Because uh, that, that food hall has lots of different uh, restaurants yeah. in it. But like, to be honest, like, uh, meeting room at East, like, it's an upper echelon. I think I mean, could... is there a pickle there as well? No, no. hydro, hydro, hydro. They could. He could open a standalone restaurant on his own. Down he in could, yeah. 51, he'd be packed. Yeah, 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 he could. Go, you are one. Uh, my one is. Uh, oh, I went to go see Hans Zimmer. Oh, what did you think? Oh, it's incredible. incredible. I was crying. I was literally crying. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. does get you emotional. Uh, so, so in, uh, certain scores. And I'm a big movie buff. Yeah? Yeah, if I wasn't doing food podcasts, I'd do movie podcasts. I love <laughs> the movies. And like, so I've watched like so many of the movies that I've seen of Hans Zimmer, I've watched 20, 30, 40 yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. So when I was actually watching that live, and he he's amazing. Oh, he's incredible. I, I didn't realize how much a uh, crowd... Uh, engagement he would do. I thought he would just kind of come on, they would sing the songs, but he's chatting. Yeah. He's like, every, between most songs, he'll come and talk to the audience, introduce the the singers, introduce the orchestra, or the, the people who play. Which the, one do you think was, which ones were the best for you? Mine was um, Interstellar. Yeah. Because that was yeah. one I was looking forward to the most. Yeah. I think that's the most iconic one as well, to be fair. Yeah. Um, but just that, that uh, kind of melody. I yeah. think that was his, um, it was the final one. Oh, was it? It was the final one. A doom, doom. Yeah. It's just, it's just magical. I thought magical that one moment. was really good. I thought... And the Lion King. Uh, Lion King was the Lion amazing. King's, yeah. The whole Lion King bit was amazing. You got the singers, you got the dancers. It was just fantastic. I love the uh, the June one with the yeah. throat singing. Oh, she is she's so incredible. good. She didn't hang around though. She, oh no, it wasn't there. It was the she, Gladiator she, one. She, the, she literally came in Sung the gladiator and then she was out. She must have done this for like the last. Yeah, what, yeah, no. I heard that. that hey, yeah. Whatever. I can't, I can't do that. That that's incredible. When that comes, up, I think because that that obviously that sound is quite iconic. Yeah. yeah. When yeah. she sang that, belted it out, yeah. the whole crowd was like and on the their drums. Feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, incredible. So I'm not seeing Dune Part Two. Have you seen Dune Part Two? Dune Part Two. Interstellar's my best of a film of yeah. all the time. I think Dune Part Two is number two. I, I just it's, can't get through. I can't get through Dune One yet. I keep falling asleep. Not because it's a bad film. Me and you watch it together, watch and I'll it. literally I'll hold your eyelids open. I watch it. I think I watch it too late. Yeah, in the day. Like, I go go literally now. There's stuff at work. Because <laughs> I watch it, and then like literally now and then I'm like, no. no and then no, I wake no, up, no. and there's some like blobby guy just June part two in oil. June part two was just. Oh. I do. I really want to watch it. I really want to watch it. I really want to watch it. But okay, prior to that, obviously, <laughs> <laughs> popcorn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> popcorn. The food was dead there. Um, uh, I went to Mythos. Uh, in City Walk prior. Oh, all right. All I right. went to the Mythos. I am being Mythos in Jersey. Years, yeah. years, years, years. But um, I actually tried to get into No List, but it was fully booked. Yeah. So we're like, oh, we just want to have a little cocktail, maybe a couple of bites before we go to yeah. Zimmer. Anyway, went to Mythos, sat at the bar because it was already packed. It was obviously packed because everyone in there That's was going to Hanzimmer. Like, but yeah. everyone was going to Hanzimmer anyway. Oh, right. So yeah, like yeah. everyone was there to Hanzimmer. I had one of my favorite Greek dips. Suzuki, Tarama. No, not not Tarama Salato. I don't like Tarama Salato. I'm honest. No, yeah, yeah. Nah. Yeah, we're not good. I don't. My missus, she loves the it. The aubergine one. No, it is. I'm gonna pronounce this wrong. Um, Tiro cafeteria. Tiro cafeteria. Tiro cafeteria. I'm not. Tiro caf tere. Tere. Spicy, spicy feta dish. It's a spicy okay, feta yeah, dish. Yeah. That is my favorite dish. Uh, favorite uh, dip. We only had a few dips. Um, and I know you got the taro masalata. I, I, I want to like taro masalata. No, you need to have a good one. Because no, the no, the proper one is very subtle, fish flavor. But then these ones are just like bit, super it's, it's, fishy. It's like sour and fishy. I'm yeah, like, no, nah, I don't really like this. On. Anyway, the spicy feta dip. I, I do think, honestly, I think Taverna do a better version yeah. of it. But that was lovely. I do you have a Sivlaki? What did you have for main? I didn't. We didn't have main. Oh, you didn't have main. No, we had some little fried bone marrow thing. Uh, in I think it was like an aubergine. No, aubergine. It was a zucchini bone marrow uh, deep fried, like almost like a fritter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which was quite nice. And we had that with basically. So just had some the, the cocktails were fantastic, though. I think we need to go back and actually give them a... I need to go back and give them a try. 
I need to try the Yiro, I need to try the Sablaki. Oh, well, I'll try the Yiro, actually. So I feel like I feel like after Chef Tim said that it was one of his top places, maybe yeah, I, just like maybe I'm off. full of shit. Maybe I am. You are Probably full of shit. Probably am. Go on, then. Let's uh, uh, final one. Tell me final. Best restaurant I've been to in the last couple of months, recommended by Yusuf. We spent, went with uh, went with him for lunch. Kasser Marib, okay. the according to him and Hani, the best Mandy restaurant in Dubai. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we didn't have the Mandy. I was expecting to have Mandy, and you went to a Mandy restaurant. And and we didn't, didn't have Mandy. Mandy. Yeah, so I was I already had the video planned in my head, and then I was like, oh, we're not having it. So we had three <laughs> well, dishes. So weird. We had Zara Bian, which is a uh, Emirati version of biryani. So okay. it's like sl- the meat's slow cooked in the rice, so all the flavors are infused in the rice. Yeah. Um, you had Magalgal, which is, eh, I'm going to bench this one. The Magalgal was the fried pieces of lamb. Fried pieces of lamb? Fried pieces of lamb, I okay. believe. Um, A pan fried. The, and then the Mahmoud is, uh, was slow cooked, or these two are mixed up. I'm sorry, Yusuf. Yeah. Um, literally slow cooked underground in concrete, and then they blow the concrete up to get out. What do you mean the blow? Yeah, the blow, like they. Put it, put it underground, cover it in concrete, leave it to cook for so long, and then they blow the concrete up and then get out. What? No, yeah, what? That's no. What, that's what he explains to me. What, I need what do you to mean go, they blow the, like, blow the concrete up? up like, open. Why do they blow it up? I, I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, wait. So, wait, they have this chamber. They have a chamber. Put the meat in. Put the meat. I've seen underground. this. I know that. When they, yeah. they fill it all up and they cover it with cover concrete. It. Okay. Cover it with concrete. The concrete thing's throwing me yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Throw it me off. It's like mud or no. something. And then I. I would think it would be they would crack it open, but then if you yeah. crack it open, it's going to fall down in the meat. So he said, blow it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so there's not even a lid on it. In no, the concrete it's just the it. concrete is the lid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, okay. How are they blow? I don't know. I, mate, I don't know. I'm going to try and go behind the scenes. I'm going back to this place and yeah. I will see how they blow up oh, the concrete. But okay. regardless, food, incredible. Like, if you love rice and meat, just go here. You will die a happy man. Where is it? Uh, down near the airport. Down near the airport. And what's it called again, Fable? Casa Marib. Marib. Casa Marib. We Casa have this. Marib. We have these all in our description. Yeah, we'll put it in the description. When Alex gets around to doing it, he is in the yeah. description right now. Go, go check it out. Also, download my app. Yes, Step App. Go on, let's do, little, let's do a little ad read. Yeah, because honestly, like I had, I had uh, a few restaurants actually message me, and they were like, "We've we've actually had some people come in from your app, which was just meant the world oh, to me." Because like, amazing. I don't, I didn't get like thousands and thousands yeah, of, of people. I had a handful it. of like very good followers. Thank you very much. Yeah, but Keep like, um, I've had really good feedback from you guys. You're loving it. So if you haven't got it, Step Your World. Yeah, is the app, mm-hmm. and then search Just Food, and then Unlock. Can they get that link by just going to your Instagram account? They can, yeah. If you click the link in my bio, that's the easiest way. Yeah, you just know, just that. food. Go to his, straight to his bio. Click the link. Get the download. Download the app and taste, taste, exactly. taste. So all eat, these places, eat, eat. where to go, what to order, how much it costs. Go it's to a fantastic app. I've used it. I mean, I, I just speak to him, so it's fine. I don't necessarily need it, but if you don't have direct access to Alex's number, if you want it, let me know. Um, <laughs> you will find all of his favorite restaurants and everything we speak about on this podcast also goes on there. Cool. All the good ones, anyway, not the bad All the good ones. All right. Right. Look, so, okay. Now, this podcast <laughs> episode is themed around a certain topic. I listened to his podcast ages ago. So I can't remember what it was, but it was about the best day ever. And that got me thinking. And I was thinking, what would be my best meal ever? Right? I'm talking anything goes Money is out of the equation here. You could do whatever the F you want. If you want to fly to bloody Rio de Janeiro to have some corn on the cob and then fly back to bloody south of France to have a glass of your favorite rosé, you could do that, my friend. Yeah. Let's just say time doesn't really exist. Okay. So you can you can jump. You can I jump. I wish around. time didn't exist. I've, I've played mine enough. I'm quite well. happy with mine. Okay. I want you to go. So first. basically, what we're doing is basically we're curating our best meal ever. No money hole bars. Anything you want in the fucking world, any guests you want in the world can join you. Whatever, whatever. I left the guests out, but all well, right. we can spitball it. Now, me. Alex is going to go first. No, no, no. Yes, you no, are. No, yes, no, you no, are. No. yes, you are. Mine's going to take mine's, a while. I, no, no. I come up with this idea. Okay, fine. We, 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 don't worry. We've got ages. Okay. We've got ages. Here. Okay. So. Lock in. Lock in, mate. Okay. Can I go? Okay, right? What day? What, 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 what time are you? Are you? I'm going. I'm going to ask you questions. You're not. I, it's, you won't need to. Go then. Okay. So. I'm gonna, but we need to conversate about this, okay? We start off <laughs> in the misty mountains in the mi- of Japan. <laughs> you got tired effects. 
Your boy has been in a silent retreat for weeks. Okay. I've been living oh, that's a lovely off stuff. nothing but tofu and seaweed. Nice. I'm starving. You are starving. <laughs> I get in the minibus and I head down the, ro the rocky roads into the heart You're of Tokyo. Oh, wow. You're in a minibus. I'm in a minibus. So, Don't wait. Stay with me. Okay. I'm with you. The hustle and bustle of the city. Stop There's looking at Yasmin. The aromas <laughs> of the food around me. I've been in a cold, damp hut for months. Oh, you're stinking. And I'm craving. What are you craving? A hearty bowl of, <laughs> if it loads, ramen. Oh, ramen. Put it closer. It's closer, a little. Closer. It's a little shack. Okay. There's a little Japanese man. He's been honing his craft for years. Oh. Fresh ingredients, preparing a shoyu, a tantaman dashi. <laughs> it's tantaman dashi. Handmade noodles. <laughs> yeah. I sit down at his counter and he slides over a refreshing hot bowl. A refreshing hot of bowl. Of tantaman ramen. Okay. And a side of gyozas. Okay. What's in the gyoza? The gyoza, everything is pork in this whole day. <laughs> Tell me, tell me about this scenario. What's, what's the, what's the ambiance like? What's it's it relaxed. like? Listen to it. You're, you're there with me. I, I'm with you, but I'll, give me, give me some it's cues. There's, I'm probably the only person in there. Maybe you're one the other person. person. Okay. Is Quiet. it you, tiny? Peaceful. You said it's tiny, right? Peaceful. Is it dark? I'm just sitting there. I'm enjoying my bowl of ramen. Mm. Taking in. Oh, someone's ordered. Yep. That's someone else. Just <laughs> someone in. just came in. Someone just came in. Oh, hello. So after that, are you drinking the bowl of ramen? You drink the bowl of ramen. It hits me right to my soul. It's exactly what I need. I'm a little bit full up. Okay, okay. But it doesn't matter because I'm heading to the airport. Okay. I arrive. Mr. Just Food, How where you have you been? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Mr. Just Food, where have you been? We thought you were dead. Should we start posting videos? No, we've got to get on the plane. Okay. What's the plan? Because we're flying for our next meal. Where are we going? I want to break. I want to. I want to live in these moments a little bit. You're going too quick for me, bro. Give me, oh, give me, give me some time. Gone. Give me some time to okay. enjoy this. You're going too quick for the audience. Oh, where you in? New we York. wake up after a nap. We land in Chicago. Oh, shy city, baby. We are currently stood outside of Big Al's Al's Italian Beef Shop. Okay. <laughs> Okay. It's been open for 70 years. Oh, has it? This no. is a real place. This is a real place. Okay. So when I was younger, I used to be obsessed with man versus food. Yes. I used to watch all the Adam Richman. And there was a roast beef sandwich that I saw him try, and it's been on my mind for years. So I'm going to go and try it. So okay. they slow cook the roast beef for four hours in signature juices. Yeah, yeah. They slice it paper thin. They dunk that into a broth that's been on a rolling boil for 70 years. Yeah, I've seen this. They then take the French bread and they dunk the whole thing Damn, that bad boy. in the gravy. Ooh. How busy is it? What were we saying? It's bustling. It's busy. It's bustling. Don't let the yeah. music fool you. It's, it's packed in there. You can yeah. hardly get a table. Yeah. So uh, it's then finished off with jardinier, celery spices and oil with some sweet red peppers. It's beautiful. It's Ooh. hearty. I'm starting to get a bit full. Yeah. But I'll definitely have time to digest because I'm hopping back on my flight. Two. Where are you going? Yeah. <laughs> My birthplace. The Greek Isles. The Greek Isles. You're back home. We're back baby. in the Mediter Mediterranean. I had to have some Greek food. Okay. Now your boy loves a gyro. He yes. loves a gyro. And there's like a, a lot of places I could have gone yeah. to try a gyro. But I've actually gone Go to, back to the Ia motherland in Santorini. Oh, you're in Santorini? What are you wearing? A linen shirt. Oh, you wearing a linen, linen shirt? shirt yeah. yeah you, 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 chest out. Chest out. Smoking probably a big Cuban. Oh, what's on feet? Burks, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to a place called Pito Yiro. Pito so Yiro. You actually, actually pick real places. I actually went, because it's like. I've not picked I real wanted, places. I wanted places that I've been to. I've not I loved. real so, places. Suvlaki, roasted on charcoal. With extra tzatziki. Here we go. And fresh, juicy tomatoes. I'm standing up. With tons of oregano. <laughs> and the feta making it creamy. Here comes the year. Right? Yes. Yeah, you know. <laughs> we're going to hold, right? hold and do the little thing. Here we go. Here we go. Where it is on the table. <laughs> and and have it on. I love it. We're taking a bite in the year. The I'm year there. is hitting differently now. That's tzatziki on your shirt. Maybe it's. <laughs> still on my shirt. I'm mad. I've got 100 in there. 100 there. Okay. Oh, so. Love it. After I have my year. I walk down to the waterside. 
I'm down at the harbour in here. Okay. Same place. Okay. I was going to stop at Dimitri's to get a seafood pasta because it is the best seafood pasta I've ever had in my life. But wow. there's no time for this, all right? Okay. I'm jump, jumping on my mega, mega, mega super ultra yacht. Yes. Fine. Which is 550 million foot wide and long. Nice. Um, and we bump into Penelope. What? On the boat. Penelope, what are you doing here? You should be at Fusion Ceviche in Dubai. Oh, where's my order? Hola, Alex. Hola. I know it was your perfect day, so I'm going to give you a bowl of my classic ah, ceviche. Because it is honestly my favorite food. So it is. You've said that before. We're on the yacht, over the med. Like it. I've, I'm pretty full at this point. I've can, had... we just, can we just have a minute on this music? Just, just 10 <laughs> seconds. Let me just let me get my I'm vibes. I'm so full up. I need a break. Let me get my vibes in. Yeah, it's good. Whereabouts in Italy am I going? Take a guess. Napoli. Napoli, baby. Uh, we have got the fucking same thing. We've done the whole <laughs> thing's the same, bro. So, in Napoli. Oh, I, I don't know what this is. I didn't bloody write it down. Fuck. We've got looking, the same thing. Now. Okay, hold on. Best <laughs> Napoli pizza, Naples. It's just that a place, isn't it? Yeah. No, I found it. it. No, I found it. Oh, gosh. They haven't got it. I said I, I was like going to have the thing. Vibes. It's not there. Anyway. Oh, I'm really annoyed. I really wanted to get you guys the name of it. The best pizza I've ever had in Naples was this place, which I will find the name and I will put it in the description. Okay. Incredible. Margarita pizza, a glass of wine. I'm stuffed at this point. That's me done. I can oh, think of anything. No dessert, more. no nothing? Nah, I'm stuffed, mate. I'm, I'm a savory guy. Maybe have a little tiramisu at the end of it. <laughs> I love that. How did I, I do? That. You did so well. Yeah, do you like I it? I mean, the sound effects made that incredible. <laughs> I was actually. laughing on the sofa doing that. <laughs> <laughs> what would be what would have been the favorite dish of that trip? See, the thing is, I haven't had big owls. I, I haven't had the. I've never been to Japan. Sure, I've never had a ramen in Japan, so I need to go there this year. and I need to get back to you. I also want to go to Big Owls, yeah, and have that sandwich. But out of the ones that I've had, the gyro at Pizza Gyro was stunning. The the seafood pasta. If you guys are going to Santorini this year for your summer holes, go down to the harbor, go to Dimitri's, get the seafood pasta. It's unbelievable. But obviously, the, the only winner could be the, the pizza in Naples. Oh, this is going to be weird now because <laughs> two of your locations are the same as my two locations. Okay, fine. That's weird. Um, we didn't speak about Maybe what we're doing. We're copies of each other. We are. We are. <laughs> Who has the best quiff? <laughs> All right, and I don't have the sound effects, so I think in the edit, Yasmin, can we add music? No, no, it? no. Yes, we you can. Don't prepare, you don't get that. Yeah, we can. We, we can a little bit. Because our listeners are going to vote who's got the best. They're going to drop us a comment mm. on Instagram who okay. done the best. Perfect food date. <laughs> I haven't picked actually restaurants. I, I actually like the fact you pick restaurants. I, mine was just anything I wanted, okay? Right. Caviar, balls, Could Margot be Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> no one understands that joke, but I do. Right then. Okay. Well, my turn. Paint the picture. It's a nice crisp morning in summer right where where am i i'm here i'm in dubai I'm oh right i'm here i'm just wait i'm waking up okay right? i'm waking up. i'm waking up in my mega mansion right? <laughs> i've got my silk sheets on all right i'm just waking up what's uh, there's a there's a knock at the door it's margot robbie <laughs> <laughs> i'm tired um quick i love that master apple your chauffeur's downstairs. Oh, Alfred, leave me alone, mate. I'm, I, I want five more minutes. I get up, right? Draw the curtains. I'm feeling fresh. I'm looking great. My skin is impeccable at the minute, right? I've got a six pack out of nowhere. Got, yeah, I don't know how. I've got a banging body, right? Pecs are pecs. In. Abs are abs. Pecs are pecs. In. Abs are abs. In right, right now. I'm feeling good. I look. I'm like. I'm a bit dehydrated actually. So My beard is seven <laughs> inches long. <now. laughs> it's now seven inches. Though. Um, so I'm like, okay, then I'll get pat my back, right? Because we're traveling today. It's the best foodie day ever. I walk down the stairs. It's taking me a minute because it's so big, right? It's just no there. elevator in your big mansion. No, no, never mind. To my elevator. Oh right, okay. Gold. Because everything's gold in my elevator, right? Ding! <laughs> Down to ground floor. Open the door. My chauffeur's there. Who is my chauffeur? Margot Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> Only Sir Lewis Hamilton, eight time oh, world God. F1 and champion. He's just got. <laughs> How you doing, Taryn? How you doing, Lewis? You alright? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good, mate. Where are we going? We're going to the airport. Let's get in the car, right? What? How am I going to get in that? It's a two seat F1 car. 
But well, yeah, you can say this. On this F1, right? just gonna, it's, it's transport. This is just everything. I'm getting you in there. I'm, I'm, I'm prepping this. We up, we up in the uh, the F1 car. I don't need to wear a helmet because I'm a fucking badass. Yeah. He points this out. Yeah. Safety first. Drive straight to the airport. I'm in the PJ. Yeah. The personal private jet. Yeah. It says up on the back of yeah. the tail fin, right? Okay. I don't know why. It is what it is, right? I'm there. I've got snacks. All right, what snacks have I got? I've got every single type of crisp or chips, if you're an American listener, to world, just there. Any flavor, all the types, right? And I've got a nice San Germán spritz. Okay. Oh. I sit there, feet up. I love a bit of that. I love a bit of that. I'm flying now. Lewis Hamilton, caveat, balls. No, Lewis Hamilton's <laughs> in the back, right? He, he, he can't. He's in the back. He's in I the don't doubt it. Yeah. He's my chauffeur. <laughs> Lewis, love you, mate, but you're my chauffeur. Don't get out of the main bit, bro. You're pissing me off now. I'm in the front. Right, I, I'm flying. Where am I flying to? Japan, obviously. Oh. We've got the same We need shit. to go to Japan. We We're to going to Japan, but well, I'm in Tokyo, right? I land in Tokyo and I get escorted to the most exclusive sushi bar in Tokyo. Right? Sushi? Sushi. Sushi bar. No, just relax yourself, right? I'm, this is my starter. All right. I'm having starter main oh, dessert. Okay, right? Right. My starter is sushi. To well, Lewis point. Hamilton is a starter. No, he's dessert. <laughs> it's got four Michelin stars. Wow. You can't even get four Michelin stars. But this place has four Michelin stars, right? He puts this executive chef, he's just there. Hello, Tara. Right? I'm not going to do the accent. Can you do the oh. accent for me? Oh, <laughs> Tarunu Sama. I've watched a lot of show going recently. Tarunu Sama. No, no, he's welcome just, to my omakase. Experience. Exactly. He walks in. Konnichiwa. Massively racist. That. Konnichiwa, <laughs> Master Taran. Hello, mate. I'm Taran. I'm here to eat all your delicious food. This room he is speaks just English. Work. Yeah, he does. Oh, wow. Because this is that's how good he is. Oh. So he's English, Japanese, and French for some reason, right? There's a window in the corner. What's my view? Just Mount Fuji. Just the perfect yeah. visual Let's get to the food. Feature. Let's get to the food. I don't want to know what seats are in there. No, because the food is probably the last thing I was talking about. Actually, <laughs> I was just thinking about the whole trip. <laughs> now, there's just a range of uni on there. Sea urgent. You've had uni before? Yeah. Delicious. High quality. God. Right? Each piece is $1,000. If Okay, I'll put it question time. Yeah. If it wasn't $1,000, would you still like uni? Yes. Bullshit. Bullshit. Even if it was... People just like it because it's expensive. A quid. Same with truffles, same with caviar. No, truffles, truffles, and there. Truffles, meh. Go on. Uh, I'm having uni. I'm having fatty tuna belly sushi as well. I'll have a bit of... A toro? A toro, yeah, exactly. Oh, you yes. know. I'll have some caviar in the corner, like a... What do you call it from? Uh, beluga collab caviar. Beluga I'll have that over there. I'm not really bothered about that. I'm drinking sake with it, right? Nice. I'm feasted. We're having a great time. He's chatting to me about his child and how he wants to be a sushi master. Don't really care, mate. Don't need your life story. Go. Anyway, <laughs> I'm off. Lewis, come back. We've got to go. My start is done. Off to the airport we go. Back onto the PJ. Yeah. Where's my crisp? They take it away. We know you don't want any more crisp. What's my What's my PJ snack? Fifteen Terry's chocolate orange. God, this is the most. <laughs> like, my dad used to fuck, work for Terry's chocolate orange. I've got. I had a, Garage full of hundreds of Terry's. You, well, you had the me. best childhood ever. It was then. mid. It's a mid chocolate. No, it's not I a mid you, chocolate. It's so mid. Terry's chocolate. Oh, have you had a Terry's chocolate orange before? Oh, it's so one mid. of the best chocolates. Imagine ever. chocolate. Lovely. Now orange. orange. Mid. And it's in the shape of an orange, by the way. It's yeah. in an orange shape. Yeah, and then you, you crack it. And then you crack it open. open. Honestly, it's, it's just so many of them. It's everything. Horrible. 15 of them. I don't even want 15 of them. I just want one slither of it. Yeah, trust me. You don't want 15. I have that little slither. Delicious. I'm flying. Where am I going? Straight to fucking Ip, Italy. Straight to Naples. I'm going to find the name of this thing. Right? So I'm in Naples right now. I'm off the PJ. What's that in the corner? In the distance. It's a big, massive, giant red air balloon with savage appetites on oh the top. Oh, my God. Right? I'm hopping into this now, right? And then I'm, I'm, I'm getting in. And then all is, sir, 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 sir. I'm like, what's this? It's about Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> Alessandro, what do you want, buddy? He's like, you forgot your pizza roadie because we're in Naples. Your pizza roadie? Yeah, because I'm going to the restaurant. He's like, do you want some roadies? Which is a, a beer, beer roadie. But I don't want a beer roadie. I want a pizza roadie. Oh, he's giving you pizza as a roadie. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. So he comes in. He's got a uh, Neapolitan pizza, Lovely. which is my style of pizza. Yeah. It's a dusting of cheese, anchovies and capers, right? He's just giving yeah. me one slice. Keep the box. I'm... And he's saving my appetite. Okay, today. yeah, yeah. He's giving to me this. I'm eating this pizza. I'm on a hot air balloon on the Amalfi Coast. It is absolutely gorgeous, right? And we're just sailing, cruising. Shh, that's the fire thing, right? I'm going, <laughs> I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. 
to the highest point in the Malfi, right? And there's a restaurant just situated, situated on top of that little mountain area, right? Yeah. Don't know the name of the restaurant. Don't really care. I it's a real in. restaurant. No. Oh. Well, uh, I've been to, I've been I've been to, to a I've restaurant been... on top of Pozzolo. Yeah, same. Yeah. I have, yeah. It was delicious. Though. It was really good. This is where my inspiration came from. Yeah, yeah. Because I went to a restaurant which was quite high. But I wish it was better than this. Anyway, I go in. There's just, there's no one there, but a big round circle table, right? One chair. And there's actually, no, there's another chair, another chair next to me, okay? So I'm going there. I'm chilling. Chef comes up to me. Hello, Taryn. How are you? Good, mate. A bit tired because of the PJ, right? I've had a Terry chocolate orange. I've had a pizza. <laughs> My stomach is a bit fucked up at the minute. Bro, you're going to have to sort me out. He's like, I'll sort you out. Don't worry. I know what you like because you, you come here all the time in your PJ. I know I do. Anyway, so one of my favorite dishes, actually, just my favorite dish anyway to make or to eat is linguine alle uh, bongole. Oh, bongole. Bongole, which nice. is clam pasta. Yeah, yeah. I love clam pasta. Extra garlic sauce. Here we go, Taryn. Here's your mongole. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm sitting there. I'm chilling. Who's that in the corner? Margot Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> How many times? She's like, she, get out of here, Margot. Maya Jammer walks in. Who? Maya Jammer. It's Maya Jammer. Oh my God. How do you not know who Maya Jammer is? It's Maya Jammer. Yasmin? No? Fuck's sake. Maya Jammer. Google Maya Jammer right now. I'm going to pause. How do you even spell Maya Jammer? M A Y A space Jammer J A M A. You know who she is. You've probably seen her. Literally never seen her before in my life. Yes, you have. No. Hey. Ooh. <laughs> oh, she's not off Love Island, is she? No, she hosts it now. Oh, my God. No, she's not off Love Island. Really? That's your, you've limited yourself so much in this day. You just way. don't know who people are, mate. You just see Margot Robbie and that's it. Anyway. Maya Jai comes in. She's next to you. Say next you're to me. Ty you're our type. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. She's going out with Stormzy. <laughs> Stormzy, which is actually your wife's type as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, she's our yeah, favourite person. Guilty. Anyway, my driver's sitting next to me and my Maya get can you leave me alone? You've been meshing me all day. I don't want to see you. I've told you, go back to Stormzy. Oh, I just want to sit. No, 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 no. Leave. Maya leaves. Pissing me off now, right? As she leaves, fucking Stephen Bartlett comes in. Steve, what are you doing here? You oh guys have the God, best podcast. Is... Listen, listen. He says, You guys have the best po po podcast on the platform. I, I know it is. It's better than your shit podcast. Off he goes. He's upset now. I don't really care about that. Anyway, next dish comes up. It's a nice crispy pork belly, right? It's really nice charred, uh, crispy at the top. Italian style. Don't care whatever. Brought from China. Uh, well, yeah, he actually, the, the, you know, you know the the duck chef. Yeah, yeah. He, oh. actually, he makes he makes pork belly as well. Oh right? really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's one of the four billion people. Yeah, yeah. He's number coming. one. He's best, the number best one pork belly chef in the, the world. Next, okay, the number one pork belly yeah, best yeah. chef in the world. He's come over now yeah. as well from Dubai. From <laughs> Dubai, he's come over and he's presented me. And there's like a um, a really spicy and sour dipping sauce, bright orange. I don't know why it's bright orange. Beautiful, right? The next chef comes up. He's like, I'm going to make you a Chateaubriand. I'm like, I love a little yeah, Chateaubriand. Chateaubriand. Medium rare Chateaubriand. Uh, I'll have some chimichurri sauce on nice. this. Good soup. He's putting it up there. Next one, the thing I know, what's coming in just on a drone, is my favourite kebab from the UK. I forgot. Picnic kebab from the UK. <laughs> he's come over here. He's dropped that on. <laughs> I'm munching. I've got all this array of beautiful stuff now. And I'm tucking in. This is my favorite fucking meal ever. And one of the best smellier comes over. What do you want? Glass of red wine? He's choosing some nice fancy red wine for me. I'm loving life. This is delicious. Anyway, I finish this. As I'm leaving, who walks in? Is it Margot Robbie? <laughs> <laughs> Max Verstappen walks in. Oh, God, here we go. And he pulls me to size and goes, oh. I'm a loser, oh, gosh. and I don't deserve the 2021 World F1 Championship. This is literally why you're not allowed to have nice things. <laughs> and I go, exactly. See? He goes, I'm sorry, and he goes, right? So now I, I feel a bit better in my life now because he's now finally accepted he didn't deserve yeah. that F1 Champion. By the way... Uh, uh, and then the head of the FIA comes and awards Lewis Hamilton the 2021 World Championship. No, no, no. Well. I don't need that. I don't, oh, you need don't that. Need I, just, I like the fact that he knows. Oh, he knows. He knows. Yeah, he knows. Okay, anyway, fine. Lewis has picked me up. Yeah. We're back to the airport. Yeah. You can't wait to tell Lewis at this point. You're like, Lewis, I, I've got something to tell you. Yeah, I have. I told him. He goes, I don't really care. Yeah. That's how much of a baller he yeah, is. Because I don't care. Anyway, we're going back to the airport. Right, Lewis is taking me back to the airport. We've got dessert time, baby. God, it's still going. We're on the PJ <laughs> again. We're on the PJ. No stacks this time because I'm a bit full. Yeah. We fly all the way to New York City, mm. right? We're landing in New York City. We go to a really grotty 
speakeasy. It's dark, it's pumping, there's people dancing, it's really rich. And he makes me the most perfect Negroni. Oh. Sits there, large ice cube, you know, that big square ones. You come to Formentura? Yes, I come to Formentura. Okay, we're going to be so. Yes, I know. But, Alex talking about but you oh. and I, we're going to walk to another place and we're going to go and have the best Negroni in the world. Oh. I'll take you, me and you go, and then we'll go meet the guys. Okay, five, five, five. So anyway, he's making me a nice, beautiful Negroni, right? Just nice, crisp. And we're, and we're. Cheers. Cheers it. All right, and who's finally turned up? Oh, really? Oh, yeah, right. she's come here for, for my girlfriend's yeah. kind of come now. Nice little sip in it. She tells him about my. She, How's your day? I'll tell her about this whole day. Yasmin's just Yasmin's dropped dropped dead. <laughs> that, that was a draw. Yeah. Drop it to yeah. the floor. Yeah. That's how shocked she is. Anyway, nice little Negroni. He pulls out underneath the bar is a banana ice cream ice lolly, which is from my childhood, from an ice cream man who used to always give it to me on the, on the weekend. It just brings me back to my childhood. Yeah. He brings it out and goes, That's for you, mate. I eat that. There's one tear just on the right side, dripping down. End. <laughs> thin. Thin on the screen. Thin. 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 Fade to it. black. Job done. And I've had my best <laughs> meal ever. And I've flown all around the world, my friend. What I love about yours is that probably 80% of the food in your best day ever, we could probably just order from Instashop. <laughs> <laughs> Packing a crisp, Terry's chocolate orange. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's the PJ snack. That's the Vongo, the Vongola you can get from uh, Italy. Del delicious. Na uh, Napoli pizza. Might the be Napoli right. pizza. Yeah, you can't the get The Negroni in uh, New York City. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's, 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 people, let, let's see. I think yours are the nice that the music touched me. Yeah, I, think. I did think about that. But if you're listening, could tell us who do you think had the best. If you had to pick one of them. Also, sure. drop a DM to us as well of what your perfect food day would be like. Go yeah. as elaborate as you want, and then we'll, maybe we'll read them out in the next episode. Oh, that'd be so good. And by the way, talk about the next episode. Oh. This this is the penultimate episode of yeah. our season. Next episode is our closing final season finale. And boy, oh boy, it's a big one. We it's have the biggest big guest one. we've ever had. Uh, should we tell them or should we not tell them? No, no. Not going to tell them? No, not okay. telling you. Big surprise. Big surprise. Next week, biggest guest, tune in, Savage Appetites. You are in for a bloody treat, I'll yeah. tell you that. That's the fifth season finale and then we'll see you after, mean, after, after, the, after, after, after the, the summer. summer. We're going to go if Ibiza. If survive Ibiza. He's going to get married. I'm going to go with him and we're going to have some fun. Um, but yeah, thank you so much guys for listening and tune in next week see for the final next. episode. See you on the next episode. Goodbye.